Hello guys! Today I want to talk about how to orchestrate multiple AWS Lambda functions. I suppose you watched my last video about how the Lambda function works itself and it was a quite simple example. And today I want to keep this series for this and today I want to talk about step function. And step function is dedicated for orchestrating multiple Lambda functions. This is the best way to put the separate Lambda functions into one logical system. That's the main purpose of this video and so let's go to the, our example. And in this example, let's say we begin with a simple AWS Lambda function. It is a clock and this is the function itself, how it looks like and uh, for this we have uh, some input. Let's say the input should be a time because AWS Lambda function is clock so we logically input time value. As example, we input time equal 11, 11 o'clock let's say. So logically this lambda function should provide some output and the output should be some value uh, related with input. And in our example we have uh, stage equal start working. At 11 o'clock we are going to start work. This is a lambda function described, this behavior. So let's go to the second lambda function and the second lambda function is a place. So and uh, this is a function, how it looks like, it's, it's the same as it was for clock. And then we have some input and the input is the same as the output of uh, lambda function clock. It is a stage equal start to work. So we put this value into the lambda function, we are triggering this function and then the place lambda function should prepare a some output. And the output is, guess what? It is a place and the place is the office. That's mean that when we are starting working at 11 o'clock, the place is the office. This is the lambda function describe the situation. So, and the last uh, lambda function that draw the full pictures for this situation is a people. And uh, guess what a lambda function people uh, can describe. So this is the function as we had before in similar one. So and the input is a place from the previous lambda function and the place equal to office. So we input this value into this lambda function. So and the output should be people equal team. So uh, the full pictures of this situation is uh, at 11 o'clock we are starting to work. The first lambda function says and uh, we starting work at office. This is comes from the second lambda function. And uh, the people who are surrounding us in the office, a team. This is the third lambda function that says to us this uh, moment. And all these functions works well separately. As you see, each function has some input and provides some output. And we want to trigger the first uh, lambda function and expect the result that describes the full pictures of this uh, situation. And the full result should be like a JSON file which describes this full background. That means stage equals start work, place equal to office and people equal to team. And I hope that you understand that if we have the primary input not uh, 11 o'clock but for example 10 o'clock the full result should be different. For example, if we had input time equal to seven o'clock, so we are probably have a breakfast and not an office, but at home and not a team, uh, but a family. So it is a full pipeline how AWS Lambda function works. So do not waste our time and let's go to AWS console. Welcome to second part of this video. And in this part, we are going to practically orchestrate multiple Lambda functions into one structure. So here we have a three Lambda functions. It's clock, people and place. And if you look separately to each functions, we're seeing uh, rules described in the each function itself. So for example, for Lambda function clock, we are having uh, different rules, diff different output for the given input. For example, if we have input uh, that is uh, between 12 and uh, 17th, so the output will be a daily work. For example, in the evening we are having shopping and in the evening we have dinner and after this we are having a sleep. So remember the example and slides in the very beginning of this video. So 
at the example we have 11 and this is a start working so uh, the same structure is for our lambda functions and uh, as you can see we can have a multiple output for different stage is uh, meeting with client daily work shopping at shopping center and uh, sleeping at home and uh, and the last one uh, for people uh, we could have uh, also different uh, output it can be a family at home a team at the office client at a coffee and uh, at sh shop center we can have a random people so that's how uh, this example lambda functions prepared it's work separately we can make a test and do uh, the testing for each function separately as you can see it's working if you have some input it responds some output so and the main goal is to put all these functions into one logical structure okay so for this we are going to open aws step function so let's go here and uh, write it step Case okay, so step functions. Let's go. Let's go into main page for step function. As you can see, it's uh, officially a sample functions into business critical applications. This is what we need to do, and this is a, some nice visualization uh, that introduces you how it works by dragging uh, elements into this uh, chart. That is very cool, and I liked it from the first experience. So let's get started and do it. Okay, we are on Hello World example. So I suggest to not waste a lot of time in here and go to state machines uh, by clicking this link. And let's create our state machine for our Lambda functions. So that's what we're going to do. I just close uh, this notification. So press here. And uh, I want to select a type equal to standard because it's no nothing special in this example. I want to make it very very simple for you. So follow follow the step, and I suggest to do the same on your side, because this easy example can allows you to understand how exactly uh, lambda function with uh, step function works together. So uh, go next in here. And we are on a very, very nice visualization where we can drag and drop uh, different elements. So, as you can see, Step Function supports a lot of different AWS services. It is a Lambda, Amazon CNS, it is ACC, it is Step Function uh, itself, it is Glue, and etc. Uh, etc. Et AWS Batch is very important, API Gateway for web services and uh, it's a quite long list and uh, if you want to take a special attention for this so drop a comment i will make a special video for this so and in our example we are going to use uh, aws lambda so let's start with dragging this uh, element in here and as you can see we have a start this is the primary input and uh, we are having the end this is the uh the final result so, and uh, the first Lambda function that we uh, want to include in the structure is, uh, remember, it is a time. So, the name of this state will be a time, and the function that represents our time is clock. Remember, from the first slide. Yes, this is the clock, and the payload will be, okay, we will enter the payload. For example... Let's do like this, time equal, let's say 11, that's it. So for this uh, element is finished. So next to this, we include the next Lambda function. And the next Lambda function that we want to work is, uh, what is this? It is the place. Remember from the slides, when we have some value for time, we are going to return some uh, value for place. So, they name it as place also. And uh, in here, we are using the input from the previous Lambda function. 
so we are not entered the payload manually, we, just we are just grabbing uh, the input from the last Lambda function. That's how it's working. Okay, that is all for this Lambda function. And the next element is the last Lambda function. And I, I think you got a point, it's not very difficult. So the last Lambda function is, uh, remember what is this? It is people. And which Lambda function represent? this uh, what is this yeah here's the people so we have all lambda functions orchestrated into one structure this is the start and this is the end and uh, the idea is like this uh, we have put some manual input into time then uh, time returns some, some output place lambda function grab this output from the time and uh, return some output for the people and people return some final results in json format so let's uh, try how it's working in practical so press next okay here's a generated code snippet that describe our logic and uh, you can also code this structure by this coding language but I not uh, recommend very strongly this if you are just beginner. So press next. And the state machine is like this. Uh, let's name it uh, time, place and people workflow. I suggest you create a new role that uh, the function create for you automatically based on your lambda function requirements so i leave it as it is and then i go to down and just create a state machine with default uh, properties you can see the state machine successfully created so i can to run it and to see how it's working so i go di directly to start execution and as you can see here is a field that you can enter your initially input for the full uh, pipeline so initial input and let's say the initial input for the first lambda function is time equal to okay it doesn't matter let's say it's a uh, nine o'clock so start execution and yeah we are seeing that execution status is succeed it's very very cool that's now we are sure that our pipeline is working now we are sure that our pipeline is working and uh, right here we can check uh, each lambda function separately for example for the time lambda function the input is 9 for, and the output is 9 and stage start work for the second lambda function the input is 11 and start, start work and the output is start work at office and the end point is just like a end station that uh, collect all the information and uh, that's how it's working and uh, by finish this tutorial i want to run this uh, pipeline let's say with different input let's say it's 16 start execution it's working and what is the output and the output is not here it's 11 also okay at this state machine why how, why this happened where is the time workflow studio let's go to yeah yeah you see we manually put the input in addition of our workflow so we want to state input as the payload so change it into the first selection and apply an exit save it save anyway go to our state machine here is it and start execution time equal to let's say nine start execution running success what is the result and 
Yeah, nine. At nine we have a breakfast at home with a family. You see how the final result differs from the initial input. And this is how you can to edit your workflow and how you can to orchestrate your multiple lambda function into one logical system. This is a very, very simple example that I hope that get you more familiar with this uh, service. And if you want to get more, more comprehensive or more different examples on, on the top of this, so let me know. I surely prepare it for you. So that's it for this video for today and see you on the next video. So see you there.